Hi. In this video, I'll go over constructing a confidence interval for one mean using the t-interval on your calculator. The following data represent bus 40's travel times in minutes between two college campuses on 10 randomly selected trips. Pause the video now to enter the data into list 1 in STAT. Restart the video when you're ready. Okay. You'll notice here that we just have a sample size of 10. This is a relatively small sample. So before proceeding with the t-interval, I'd like to check to make sure that there's no outliers and that the data look approximately symmetrical. So I'm going to go to second stat plots. And I'm going to choose the first box plot out of the two box plots. If there's any outliers, they'll show up. So plot 1 is on, the graph type is set to box plot, the X list is list 1, and so I'll do zoom 9. Okay, so good news, the median is approximately in the middle of the box, um, the whiskers don't look too asymmetric, and there's no outliers showing up. So this is just a reasonable checkpoint your instructor might have more specific instructions for you in this case. We'll go ahead and proceed with the t-interval now. <clears throat> Quitting out of the graph. I'll go to STAT, over to TESTS, and I'll scroll down until I find the t-interval. There it is. <clears throat> so STAT, TEST, t-interval, ENTER. Okay, so first thing we need to do is realize that there's two setup menus here. One for data, which offers you a list, and one for statistics, which if you hit enter on statistics, gives you a different setup screen to input statistics. In our problem, however, we are given the raw data, which you had put into list one. So make sure data is selected. Remember, you have to hit enter upon a word uh, or selection to select it. The data list should be L1, if that's where you put your data. So remember second, L1, frequency is just a 1, confidence level we want 95%, and then we'll get ready to calculate. Before we leave this screen, let's just make a couple of notes as to what we've done. We selected data. Our data is in list 1, frequency is 1, confidence level is 0.95. Now we're ready to hit calculate. Okay, so our interval comes up 18.91 up to 21.29. So I'm 95% confident that the population mean travel time for bus 40 between the two college campuses is between 18.91 minutes and 21.29 minutes. So you can more roughly interpret this to um, close to 19 to 21 and a half minutes. I hope this has been helpful. This concludes this video.